What's up guys, so I'm going to scrap the other videos about battery safety and kind of make a new one, make it short, and just kind of get the information out there. This is also going to, I'm going to talk about stacking and the two different ways to kind of put two batteries together and what happens when you do. Okay, so there's um, a couple questions out there of the, the as far as the milliamp goes and uh, what happens to the amps and how much you could draw and all that. Okay. So first things first, let's go ahead and pop out the three most uh, common vaping batteries, and not the company, but the size, okay? The smallest one here is an 18350, the middle one is an 18500, or an 18490, guys, it's the same size battery. And the largest one is the 18650. Now there are larger batteries at the 26650 that um, are being used on mechanical models that I've seen before, but um, as far as the most common. And I do have a Sony BTC4 battery. I actually have a lot of these because these are pretty much what I use primarily. I like to use these FS batteries in, the, in my variable voltage mods. Although um, I do use it on my mechanical, mechanical mods every once in a while. So what I do when I get these batteries. I do that. I write down the milliamp, the max ohm draw, the continuous, uh, the max amp draw, the continuous amp draw. And kind of what's safe to vape as far as ohms, the lowest ohms I could go. And with these, I calculate the amp draw of a resistance in max voltage, so 4.2 when it's fully charged. So let's get that out of the way. What happens when you draw too much amp out of a battery that's not rated for? Well, you will overheat the battery, and um, worst case, the worst case scenario is you'll vent the battery. Now, I've seen many of these batteries being shorted on purpose, and they've never vented. The AWs, the FS, the Sonys, I've seen them shorted, and they've never vented. Okay, they just melted around, but basically drained all their power before events could happen. So, uh, I mean, that's pretty safe in my books as far as that goes, but you never know. if You can still vent a battery. And in that venting, if it does vent, just chuck your mod kind of in a safe place as far as you can from you. Um, it is hot gases and it is flammable. It's better to destroy even the most expensive of mods, like a $300, $400 mod, rather than paying like a $3,000, $4,000 hospital bill. So, that being said, um, that's the extent of battery safety. Um, as far as mechanical mods, it's the biggest thing you have to worry about as far as safety goes. Um, <clears throat> Aside from, don't drop the mod on your feet, because it's going to hurt. Right? Don't drop the mod on your foot. Um, but rather than that, the biggest safety issues is the battery. So, that put aside, that's about it. Um, there's plenty of other information online to check the max amp draw. Most of the time, you can find the max amp draw when you search for it. Use your Google Foo. Um, if you can't find it, find your C rating. Divide your milliamp hours by 1000 multiplied by the C rating that will kind of give you the max or the continuous amp draw okay uh, let's get to stacking now um, when people stack a battery it means that they're gonna get a mod like this and put two of these tiny little batteries in here like that and like that like a flashlight basically um, what that does some people say, does that increase the milliamp hour? So if you have 2,000 milliamp hour mall batteries and you stack them, will it become 2,000? Well, no. Not if you stack them like the way I showed you, okay? There's two ways of stacking. Well, the way people usually stack is in a series, right? So the positive goes to the negative, and there's a positive and negative in both ends of the, the stacked battery. It's called a series connection. And what that does is it does not, it does not double your milliamp hours does not double your amperage. Everything pretty much stays the same as far as the bases, the subcategories of the battery goes. Only thing that doubles is your voltage. Okay, so now if you had a on a fully charged battery, 4.2 volts, you'll have 8.4 volts. Okay, on a fully charged battery, if you stack. But um, as far as the milliamp hours, the max amp draw stays exactly the same. Okay. So when you stack two different kinds of batteries, um, I don't recommend it. You really shouldn't. But if you do, just get the lowest lowest amp draw battery. So if you stack a Sony VTC4 and the FS18650 together, such like this, right? Okay, now I have an 8.4 volt battery. 
pretty much. Um, but the max amp draw is no longer 50 or 60, or the continuous amp draw is no longer 30. You take it out of the Fist, right, which is um, 18, I believe, or 16, or whatever it is. Okay, 15. 15 amp continuous. So now I have an 8.4 battery with a 15 amp continuous amp draw. Get kind of what I'm saying? Get the lowest value. Now the other way of stacking a battery or putting a battery together is called parallel connection. Um, you see a lot of parallel connection stacking. Um, for good example, it's probably one of these. BI Taste MVP2. Everyone knows this. Um, this is two LiPo batteries put together in a parallel connection. And that's why you have a much higher milliamp hour, but then the voltage on a max charge is still 4.2. Okay. So, in a parallel connection, everything in the subcategory changes. The only thing that stays the same is the voltage. Okay, so your milliamp hours, you're basically doubling. Right? You're doubling your max amp draw. And you're, yeah, that's basically what you're doing. So now, if you had two of these tiny little batteries where the max amp draw of the continuous amp draw would be 6.4, it's now 12.8. Okay, your max amp draw is 12.8 if you do parallel connect these. And um, like I said, if you use the same batteries, which is the most recommended, that's how you calculate it. If you use two different batteries, double the lowest stat battery. Okay, so say if I had another, okay, say if I connected these two in a parallel connection, um, you, and you want to know the max amp draw out of it, just double the 6.4. Because when you do parallel connect these, meaning that um, <coughs> use the same size, both the top positive connectors connectors are put together with a piece of metal or whatever conductive metal there is. Same with the bottom, and then you have just two leads coming out of that metal. That's a parallel connection. <clears throat> then basically you're drawing the power out of those two cells at the same time. So now you do have room to kind of draw more amps because you're drawing from two different cells. So double the lowest amp capacity so well, for me it would be the F if I ever do put two batteries together most likely if I do it's going to be the same battery so that's that that's kind of the information out there <coughs> what else can I say um, I've had a battery explode on me before and that would be one of those ego batteries uh, I let my dad have it I just gave him my ego battery. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. So it's one of these. And I gave it to my father with the C4 card miser, a clear miser. And he went to go charge it. He used the green, the fiddle pen batteries. And he actually put this in the green charger. And these are rated at 500 milliamp charging. And um, apparently the greens were at, at 1,000 milliamp or 1 amp charging. So what I ended up doing was it ended up heating up this battery and just not letting it hold a charge anymore. Um, I thought it was the connection, so popped it off. I checked the connection; it was fine. So I was like, you know, let's let's go ahead and you know pull out the battery. These are one of the first generation kind of <coughs> eco style um, batteries, so <coughs> I wasn't built to the highest standard. <coughs> and then while I was pulling it out, the kind of wrapper around the battery like tear it a little, and it just spewed out like a mist of gas. And I basically just threw it, cleaned up everything. Um, but as it turns out, the battery pack was kind of made in aluminum foil, which is freaking horrible. Um, basically, I could see the freaking the coils inside with the liquid over when I looked inside after that exploded. So, snow, so um, it does happen. Um, also, Grim Green, you know, he's a he's a veteran vapor, and he's actually melted a couple hot springs and destroyed a couple batteries. So it does happen. Alright guys, so just watch out, um, there's really not much to worry about as far as the mechanics of a mechanical mod is pretty much dead on, you know, there's not any moving parts that are that are confusing, it's, it's very simple as far as that goes, just know your limits, know what you're vaping, I'll go ahead and take a vape off my 2.25 ohm coil. using a Sony PT-34 battery. I am pulling hmm, 16 amps, I believe. 
a 16.8 amps at 70.56 watts on a fully charged battery. This is not a fully charged battery, so I'm not getting that much power. But how I'm getting this is um, it's very simple. You can either write this down right now, whereas voltage, V is for voltage, A is for amperage, R is for resistance, W is for wattage, and then from that little equation you can derive all of this, and you can calculate your own wattage and volt. As long as you have two variables, you can calculate the others. So I've been using this battery all day yesterday, and it's just, just about at the end, but it's still, it's a good morning vape. I'm vaping Omega Fruit, which is a delicious, delicious fruit blend. If you guys want to buy Omega Fruit, um, the only way you could get it is to email the developer. I will go ahead and put the email in the description link or description down there if you do want to order this flavor. It's a very, very good flavor. It has a, <clears throat> a kind of a very fruity, thicker inhale, and when you exhale, it's a much refreshing, lighter exhale. It's, it's wonderful. You guys try it for yourself. It's nine bucks a bottle. Also, um, I do have a juice giveaway, and there's still, I think, about nine spots left. I'm not sure exactly how many bottles I have left, but, um, guys, if, I know I don't have much traffic flow in my channel right now, but uh, get it while you can, because once I, once I get, once I ship those uh, giveaways out, I'm not going to have any more to give away. Um, those of you that already participated, I do have your, um, stuff ready to go, already wrapped up and ready to ship. I'll show you guys. So you guys are, you guys will be receiving this pretty soon. Um, I have all the addresses already printed on there. All I gotta do is drop them off, get a postage on them, and then, you know, go to the post office and hopefully ship these out to you. I was gonna do it today, but, um, I'm waiting on another person to give me their information so I can go ahead and ship it out. If I want to do it all together, it save me some time. And um Alright, so thanks for watching guys. If you have any more questions about battery safety, go ahead and um PM me or, or message me in my discussion post of my channel, and I'll try to get back to you. Or um, leave a comment, and I'll try to comment back. You know, I'll try to leave a response. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And for those of you that did participate in the giveaway, like I said, I, I do have them all packaged up and ready to ship out. I'm just waiting on one more person to hopefully um, give me their information so I can ship it out all together. All right.